All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with these. We are not going to go over every single one. We are gonna do a decent amount of practice though. The biggest thing you need to be careful with when you're going over um, these problems today is the placement of your number across the top of your division bar or your division house. Because if you put it in the wrong place, you're going to get the wrong answer. You're gonna to have too many places left on top. All right, so looking at 246 divided by three, raise your hand and tell me, what do we multiply three by to get two? What do we multiply three by to get two, Ansley? Nope, listen to me. So what do we multiply three by to get two? Nothing. And that's where you have to be careful. And we're gonna take baby steps. I know you guys are probably like, Miss Kenny, we don't need to. But I also thought we didn't need to with order of operation and exponents and the quiz scores work. So we're gonna go a little bit more baby steps with this just to make sure we, we have it. All right, so now, Ansley, what do we multiply three by to get 24? Yeah. So we're gonna take 24 minus 24, that's gonna give me zero. I'm going to bring down my six. Do I continue or do I stop here? What do I do? Um, Alex, I'm gonna continue. So what times three gives me six? Two. Okay, so this one equals 82. Thumbs up if you we did this one right. You should be on the same page that I'm on. You should not be working on anything else except for this one. And really it should be reviewing your work. So if you're anywhere else on your paper, you need to get where we are. All right, next one, 465 divided by five. What do I multiply five by to get four? Five, five. You can't multiply five by anything to get four, so you have to put it into 40 cents. Okay. So it goes into 46, nine, five. Okay. Which is 45. All right. And that minus, and that would be one, and then you work down your five and make it 15. Okay. And five goes into 15. Perfect. How do we do that one? Thumbs up if you got that one right. Okay. All right, if you didn't get it right, guys, please make sure you're adjusting. That's why we're going over these. So if you made a, a very minor error, make sure you get it fixed. All right, the next one, 765 divided by eight. Um, Kira, what can I multiply eight by to get seven? Okay. All right, so hopefully you guys either picked the remainder five or you picked the fraction um, 95 and 5 eighths. Please don't do decimals because we're actually going to be like teaching decimals in about a week, two weeks. Um, so I don't want you guys to get too confused with trying to figure out like the decimals because sometimes the decimals will, bless you, go on forever and we don't go on forever with decimals. We stop after a certain one, so on and so forth. But if you did decimals, that is fine as well. But primarily, we're gonna just focus on the fraction, really, more than anything. If you did not write it as a fraction, that is not a big deal. Okay, just get comfortable with seeing it as a fraction. All right, how do we do this one? How many of you guys wrote it as a fraction? How many of you guys wrote it as a remainder? Okay, that's fine. How many of you guys wrote it as a decimal? Okay, so that's fine. So um, just make sure though, do me a favor and write the fraction form if you did not. So just write it next to your, your work if you did it, just so you see it. All right, next one. 651 divided by nine. How do we do this one? Sincere, what do I multiply nine by to get six? No, what do I know? Multiply nine by to get six. Okay. What do I multiply nine by to get 65? Seven. And that gives me 
Okay, 65 minus 63 gives me what? And then what do I do with my one? Okay, what do I multiply nine by to get 21? And that leaves me with, I can't hear you, baby. You gotta speak up, son. I, I, I'm hearing 72, but I'm not hearing anything else. So three ninths. Can we simplify three ninths? I know this is like way in the future, but can we simplify three ninths? What can we divide three ninths by? So what do we divide three and nine by? Okay, what is the other way that we could write this if we didn't write it as a fraction? Angel? As a remainder. So 72 remainder three. All right, again, if you did not write the fraction, please write the fraction down. All right, we're gonna skip this next row right here, and we're gonna go down to these two word problems at the bottom. Now, please grab something to highlight with, whether it's a crayon, marker, color pencil, I don't really care. By a show of hands, how many of you guys last year had to annotate your word problems? Which means like highlight, underline, circle. All right, that is a big thing that we are going to be doing this year. So every time we have a word problem moving forward, you are going to have to annotate. Have a question? All right, stand up when you have your highlighter out or whatever you're using to annotate out. Have a seat. So it says Marco, <coughs> excuse me. Marco is a builder who is building a house and needs 380 boards to finish. The boards come in packs of eight. How many packs will Marco need to buy? All right, so help me out. What is important in this first sentence? Um, Marco is a builder who is building a house and needs 380 boards to finish. So what's important in that sentence? Zachary? All right, so 380, but not just 380. What else is important that goes with that 380 that tells us something about 380? Okay. Still, though, we need a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, Samantha, to finish. And why is that important? What does that tell us about 380? What does that tell us, Gracie? You're doing too much. 380 is our total. Why is that very important when we're dividing? Because you use that, because you need that number to do the actual division. Well, we know that that is the number we're dividing. Yeah. It's our total, so that's the number that we are dividing. All right, the boards come in packs of eight. What's important in that question? Or that sentence, sorry. BK, what's important in the next sentence? Packs of eight. Okay, so packs of eight is important. And then the last sentence is how many packs will Marco need to buy? And obviously that is our question that we're trying to answer. <clears throat> so we have our division house. What number goes inside? What number goes inside based off of the information that we wrote? And if I'm writing something in pencil, what should you have wrote in pencil? Well, if I wrote an arrow and wrote total, what should you write on your paper? In pencil, not in your highlighter. All right, so what number goes underneath the division house? I need new friends. I've been calling on the same people. So those of you with your hands up, put your hands down. Joshua. 380. 380. 
All right, and then what number goes on the outside? What are we dividing 380 by, Cannon? Eight. All right, so what do I multiply eight by to get three? Eight by to get three, Drake? What do I multiply eight by to get three? Okay, what do I multiply? Okay, stop. What do I multiply a by to get 38? Which gives me, you said what? No. Gives you 32. Remember guys, some of you guys do it full like throttle all in one step. And that is where we make a lot of mistakes. So as we're going through this and going over this, we are going step by step. Remember, baby steps. You're probably gonna be like, Miss Kenny, I'm so tired of listening to no, yes, no, yes. Hopefully by the end of the day, it will make a little bit more sense. All right, Drake, what is 38 minus 32? It's six, and then what do I need to do with my zero? Okay, and then eight times what gives me um, 60? Eight times seven gives me six, yes, it gives me 56, sorry. I was confused. It's still early. All right, and then when I do 60 minus 56, what do I get? Yeah. Okay, so now this is really careful. Really careful. Really important. I cannot speak today. Um, raise your hand if you wrote 47 packs. Okay, why is 47 packs not the right answer? Why is 47 packs not the right answer, Blake? Because it has a remainder. We can't forget about those four boards that he needs, right? So we actually have to buy an entire another pack of eight. So the correct answer for this one is 48 packs. Okay, how many of us got that right? Thumbs up if you got that right. Okay, you what? That's okay. Um, so if you didn't get to the problem, please make sure that you do get this written down though. So even if you didn't do this problem, make sure you have all of your information. If you did this problem, but you made a mistake, make sure you get the right information down. It is not a big deal, guys, if you make mistakes. I made mistakes with my multiplication just now. I was like, what are you talking about? Seven. Uh, it didn't register. So, all right. The next one. It says, Awesome Shoe Company is shipping out 1,200 shoes to uh, different stores. Each shipping box contains nine pairs of shoes. How many extra shoes will the company have left after filling all the boxes they can? All right, so what is important in this question, in this first sentence, where it says, Awesome Shoe Company is shipping out 1,200 shoes to different stores. So what's important in that sentence? Mason, what's important in that sentence, babe? Yeah, so 1,200, and we're gonna say shoes. All right, the next sentence says, each shipping box contains nine pairs of shoes. What's important in that sentence? important in that sentence angel t what's important in the next sentence nice and loud baby all right so each shipping box contains nine pairs of shoes all right and then obviously the last sentence is important how many extra shoes will the company have left over after filling all the boxes so 1200 what is that number to us? What is 1,200 to us? Silas? It is our total. Y'all right? Are you sure? No, it's It is something. Do you need to go to the nurse, babe? Okay. So 1,200 is our total. Why is it important to know that that is our total? Samantha? Yes. So that's our dividend. Ooh, I like that word. Why don't you come get a piece of candy for using a good math word for me? Um, which means it goes under our division house. All right. So we're taking 1,200 and we're going to divide it by 9. Raise your hand and tell me, what do I multiply 9 by to get 1? What do I multiply 9 by to get 1? Silas H. I cannot. What do I multiply 9 by to get 12? 1. Is that two, three? All right, so 
When I take 12 minus 9, I get 3, bring down my 0. What do I multiply 9 by to get 30? Silas. 2 or 3? Are you sure? Positive. Okay, just making sure. So 3, so 9 times 3 is going to give me 27. Um, 3, bring down my 0. All right, what am I going to multiply 9 by to get 30? 3. Oh, that's 27 again. Good Lord. If I could do math today, that would be fantastic. All right. Huh? That don't mean nothing. All right. So what are you about to realize with this number? Um, it's a remainder. It's a remainder. And if I put a decimal and I kept going, or I wrote it as a fraction. Um, well, if you look back at the problem, it says how many shoes are going to be left over after filling the containers. So your answer would be Yes. So knowing what the question is, and that's why it's important to annotate, because if not, you're, if you, I said write it as a decimal, you'd go on for days because it's a repeating decimal. If you write it as a fraction, you'd be like, well, one third or three ninths, so one third, that doesn't make any sense. So knowing what the question is asking us helps us stop and answer our question. So we have three left over, okay? So again, thumbs up. Yeah. Um, thumbs up if you got this one correct. You what? That's okay. Again, if you didn't get to these problems, guys, please make sure you have this written down so you have the right information. All right, slide over to the right side of your paper. So what do you notice about these problems up here that are different than the problems on the left side? So what do you notice, Gracie? They what? You said larger divisors? Yes, I really like that math word from Good Piece Candy. Um, yes, they have larger divisors, AKA the number on the outside. So now you're dividing by a three digit by two digit. Where the other one was three digit by one digit or four digit by one digit. All right, let's go ahead. So 204 divided by 12. What do I multiply 12 by to get 2? Everly? Um, you cannot multiply 12 by anything to get 2, but you can multiply it by 2 times 2 to get 30. How many of you guys got 17 as your answer? Kira, why is that the most important thing that's going on at that table right now? It's not, exactly. So please don't do it again. Uh, you have a question? Or are you just give me a thumbs up? Okay. All right, the next one, 500 divided by 20. Now, this one, I'm gonna show you a trick. How many of you guys know how to take away your zeros and make your problem easier? Only a few people. All right, so technically you can take away these two zeros and it's now 50 divided by two. Does that make sense? Yes, no? 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 All right, so if that is not easier, obviously please don't do it. Um, what can I multiply 20 by to get five? 20 by to get five. Angel, Two. no. Why can't I multiply 20 by to get five? Oh, you can't do that. Okay, why can I multiply 20 by to get 50? Two. Who? Two. Two, yes. All right, which gives me 40. I'm gonna do my subtraction, bring down my zero. What do I multiply 20 by to get 100?
So your answer for this one should equal 25. All right, thumbs up if you got that one right. All right, that was probably the, one of the easiest ones on here. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one. 616 divided by 11. 616 divided by 11. All right, slow down. Don't try to go 4,000 miles an hour. What do we multiply 11 by to get six? Okay, what do we multiply 11 by to get 61? Okay, which gives me? When I do my subtraction, I end up with 60. End up with what? Not 60. What is? No, what is 61 minus 55? And then you bring down your other six. What times 11 gives me 66? What times 11 gives me 66? It's okay if you made a mistake. That's why we're going over these. It doesn't matter. What times 11 gives you 66? Thinking so if 5 times 11 gives me 50, listen, if 5 times 11 gives me, Jake, step outside. Now, step outside. Leave everything, step outside. Uh, 6 times 11 gives you what? Thank you. All right, so your answer for this one should be 56, correct? Thumbs up if you got that as your answer. All right, next question, 275 divided by 11. What can I multiply 11 by? Um, Ansley. Oh, sorry, what can I multiply by? What can I multiply 11 by to get to? Okay, what about 27? Um, two. Okay, which gives me? All right, when I do 27 minus 22, I get? Five. Bring down my other five. What do I multiply 11 by to get 55? So your answer for this one should be 25. All right, raise your hand if you have completed these four. Okay, raise your hand if you have annotated and completed the bottom two right here. All right, so go ahead work on these four or these two and then we'll go over them Stand up when you have these done.
so that'll work. All right, go ahead and have a seat. So we are gonna start with this first one. 5,400 divided by 12. What can I multiply 12 by to get five? What can I multiply 12 by to get five? BK, what can I multiply 12 by to get five? Okay. What can I multiply 12 by to get 54? Okay which gives you, okay. And then I get six when I do that, I bring down my zero. What do I multiply 12 by to get 60? BK, do you know? Okay. All right, this next step is where we struggle and that is super crooked. Um, you technically still have a place value right here, right? And you still have a number that you're gonna bring down. It is a zero. So you have to say to yourself, what do I multiply 12 by to get zero? Right, you multiply it by zero. So you have to put that zero up there because there is still a place value. Does that make sense? So if you wrote 45, that's not the answer. 450 is the correct answer. So make sure that you make that correction if you need to. So 450 is your answer. All right, excuse me. Let's go, let's do the third one. So 8,456 divided by 11. What can I multiply 11 by to get eight? Can I multiply 11 by to get eight? Summer. Are you drawing on your hand again? Huh? Let me see your hands. So sit outside since you don't want to be a part of this class and work on this sheet by yourself. Go. Everything. Take it outside. Molly, what do we multiply 11 by to get five? Okay, what do we multiply 11 by to get 59? I just can't hear you. Not seven. Yes. All right, so that gives me four. I'm gonna bring down my four. Molly, what do I multiply 11 by to get 44? What do I multiply 11 by to get 44? Mm -hmm. I'm totally doing the wrong one. Ha! Huh. I was gonna say. Y'all gotta like, be like, yo, Miss, can you on the wrong one? <laughs> All right, uh, Molly, what do I multiply 11 by to get zero? There. All right, I was just making sure you guys got this one right, too. Yeah. Totally not. All right, well, hopefully you did get this one right. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you did not, make sure you get the correct information written down. Flip your... Okay, follow along. All right, now we're going to do the third one. Uh, what do I multiply 11 by? It threw me off because there's two 11s. By to get 8. Um, Reagan. Can't do it. All right. What do I multiply 11 by to get 84? Okay. Which gives me... Okay. When I do my subtraction, I end up with 7. I bring my 5 down. What do I multiply 11 by to get close to 75? Six. 
All right, then I bring, um, that gives me nine. I bring my six down when I multiply 11 by to get close to 96. Did I do my math wrong? Okay. Okay. All right, so now we are going to write this as a fraction. You guys, remember that? I showed you that yesterday. So your whole, your answer becomes your whole number, your remainder becomes your numerator, and your denominator becomes your, sorry, your divisor becomes your denominator. All right, let's slide down to these two word problems. So if you did not annotate or you didn't get time to annotate, please annotate now. It says the color factory makes 5,100 crayons in an hour. If there are 12 crayons in a box, how many boxes of crayons does the color factory make in an hour? What's important to that first question or first sentence? Zachary. Okay. All right. In the next sentence, if there are 12 crayons in a box, what's important in that part? Joshua, what's important in that next little half sentence? So from the if to the box, what's important there? If there are, huh? So the, you're looking at the if there are 12 crayons in a box, what's important in that part? Yep, so 12 crayons in a box. And then obviously, how many boxes um, of crayons does the color factory make in an hour? What is our total? What number is our total? 5,100 or 12? Which one is our total? Mason, what do you think? Okay, so please make sure that you label that as your total. And then what number are we dividing 5,100 by? Our, um, our, the number that we're dividing by would be 12. Okay. Our, okay. All right. So what do I multiply 12 by to get 5? What do I multiply 12 by to get 5? Samantha, what do I multiply 12 by to get um, 51? All right, so that gives me 48. Which 51 minus 48 gives me three. I bring down my zero. What do I multiply 12 by to get 30? Silas, two. two. Oops. Uh, 30 minus 24 is Six, I bring down my zero, and what do I multiply 12 by to get 60? Five. All right, so Cannon, what is my answer? 425 what? Because you're right. All right, um, a metro train that has 11 train cars can hold 4,422 passengers total. Each train car can hold the same number of passengers. What is the capacity of, the train, or of each train car? So what is important in that first sentence? A metro train that has 11 train cars can hold 4,425 passengers total. Uh, Kira? Total. Total is huge in that. Because why? Because it's telling us that this 4,422 is our total. All right. What's important in the next sentence? Each train car can hold the same number of passengers. BK.
there's just like really and truly there's two words that are really important in that sentence and they're not together so each train is really important but then there's something else that's really important not sure that's okay that and again that's why we're practicing this so we make sure Blake the what what did you say? I know you did not just ask me to go to the bathroom in the middle of a lesson. Is that what you asked? No. We're in the middle of a lesson, baby. Like, is it a dire emergency? Okay. So can you at least answer this question, then maybe I'll let you go. So each train is important. What's the other word that's really important? Nope. In this sentence, we're in this sentence. What is the other word that is really, really important? In this sentence right here, so each train car can hold the same number of passengers. What other word is really important in that sentence? I mean, there's really only one word left that's important. Same. Why is same so important? Go to the bathroom, Blake. Why is same so important, guys? Blake, go to the bathroom. So only two people know why same is very, very important in that. Angel T, why do you think I'm saying same is important? Why is that important though? You're right. Joshua? Okay, so putting those two things together is telling us that it's going to be the same number. So essentially, what is that telling us about our answer? Alex? Nope, definitely not multiplying. Not multiplying. Samantha? There's not going to be a remainder. So this should go in evenly. Your number should be even to the other number. All right. So underneath your division house, you said should have 4,422. And on the outside, you're doing 11. You have a question? You're gonna answer. Okay. All right, what do we multiply 11 by to get four, Ansley? Okay, what about 44? Okay. All right, be careful. What do we multiply 11 by to get two? Zero. How many of you guys did not put that zero there in your answer? Okay, you have to put it there because there's nothing we can multiply 11 by to give us two, right? All right, now bring down your other two. What do we multiply 11 by to get 22, Ansley? Two. So there are 402 passengers her car. All right. Flip your paper over. If you did not get to these word problems this morning, this is your homework. If you got to these word problems this morning, but you didn't annotate, you have to go back and annotate. All right. If you got to these word problems and you annotated, you don't have any homework tonight. All eight of them. So you know how we went in and highlighted with the colors? That's annotating. Oh, it's not there. Right, so like, if you solved it, but you don't have, stop whistling, Alex. If you solved it, but you don't have highlighting, you gotta do that to get credit tomorrow. So these must be highlighted and answered. Does that make sense? Yep. Put this away, we are not working on this, okay? And you don't have to do any of this work in your notebook. You can do everything right here on this paper. 
No, this is, no, not yet. Mm. I'm actually probably going to have you guys turn this in tomorrow. So it won't be glued in at all. Because I want to check, like, the annotations. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right. All you need right now. Is this the right size? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
All right, and then obviously, do we want to add any more strategies? Sorry, I should have asked first. Any more strategies? Are we good? Okay. All right, last thing. You have to redo the problem. So we're going to do 78 divided by 2. So what times 2? Raise your hand. Gives me 7. 7. Uh, Gracie? 3. That's going to give me 6. So I'm going to do 7 minus 6, which gives me 1. And I'm going to bring down my 8. 2 times what gives me 18? Drake? Right. 9. 9. All right, so the correct answer would be 39. So once you have done this with your group, did you see how we bounced ideas off of each other? We talked, we disagreed, but we agreed. Um, you filled this out. Again, if you want me to, to just kind of give it the okay, I will do that. If you're like, no, I think we're good. You're then going to take this information from this and put it on your anchor chart. Does that make sense? So this is kind of like you're, if you're doing writing and you have to do a pre-write, this is your pre-write. And then you make the nice, big, pretty copy on your other paper. Does that make sense? You're also going to glue this on your anchor chart. All right, here's gonna be the difficult part. I'm going to number you off by 10, okay? So I'm gonna say one, and you're gonna hold up a one or a two or a three or a four. Don't change your numbers, okay? All right, starting at table five, one, Gracie, Mercedes, two, Constantia, three, four, Molly, five, hold up five, Angel, six, Jira, seven, eight, Joshua, nine, nine, Sincere, you're ten, all right? Silas, one, Everly, two, three, Over here. All right, if you are a two, you're going to be up here. 